Do you know what four game-changing clean energy technologies are that everyone should be paying attention to? Well, here's the article. Thank you very much for a friend that sent it to me. In Forbes, published three days ago, September 21st, 2023. Four game-changing clean energy technologies everyone should be a uh, attention to. In the race against climate change, the quest for clean and sustainable energy solutions continues to intensify. Climate tech, climate tech, you like that name? Climate tech is one of the fastest growing sectors for venture capital. A McKinley report cited data from Pitch book showing that climate equity transactions in private markets skyrocketed from approximately $75 billion in 2019 to $196 billion in 2022. With public interest and money flowing in, it can feel like there's a new product or solution every day to address environmental challenges. As we continue to invest in technologies that drive a cleaner, healthier, and future-forward these are the ones to pay especially close attention to. And what do we have as number one? Chemical recycling. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, number two, battery recycling. Number three, direct lithium extraction. No, 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 no. Keep me away from mining. Carbon recapture. So, of course, we're going to focus on our favorite. Chemical recycling. As the world continues to grapple with overwhelming amounts of plastic waste, chemical recycling is one of the most promising paths to a circular plastics economy. Traditionally, the dominant technology from plastic recycling is chemical recycling, which, aside from being label intensive and generally resulting in lower quality product, is, the, is only possible with certain types of plastics. We know that. We know this. That's why few plastics actually get recycled. A Green Space USA re re report estimated that between 5 to 6% of plastics were recycled in U.S. in 2021. According to the U.S. Government Accountability Office, chemical recycling involves the use of heat chemical reactions or both to break down use plastics into raw materials for new plastic fuel or other chemicals. By drastically reducing the need for new uh, produced plastics derived from fossil fuels, chemical recycling can help conserve finite resources and decrease the environmental impact of plastic production. Um, you can read the rest of uh, the article, which is linked in the description below. And of course, our horse is Aduro. Another day, another up, right? If we look back five years, now from the bottom, now the stock is up 142%. So what's happening is, you know, if, if according to an article like this, more money is flowing into names like this, and Aduro has a very tight structure so far it's really still trading very little shares per day i'm looking forward to seeing when it trades a million shares per day and where the people are going to get their shares from so what i'm seeing right now is a little mental game because uh some people are waiting for a pullback and they're not getting it. They expect a fullback. They're not getting it. So they have to bid up for shares. Other people, more people are coming in, trying to get shares. And those that don't have any shares um, are trolling and yapping online. I got um, a nice text today from a friend that said, trolls are in full action today. And I said, well, no surprise. They don't have any shares, so they have to yap and troll. So, yeah, we'll see what uh, the future weeks, days will bring. But I do want to say one thing is you probably 
already learned that this space, micro cap space, small cap space is very volatile. So it's very easy to get excited about something. But even when companies deliver, their stock prices can get a huge haircut. Um, anytime, any day, any week, for whatever reason, right? So if you are bullish on this company, just imagine what will you do when at some point it retraces? Because let's look at this chart here. Right from from here 107 to here, it sold off 53 percent. Why? I don't know. The company delivered and it still sold off. So don't be surprised to see. Let's say a duro goes to five bucks, and then it can re retrace to two, or it goes to ten bucks, and it can retrace to three. Right. Or even from here, it can absolutely retrace. It doesn't matter that you like it. It doesn't matter that they, they deliver. You're going to get those. There is no multi-bagger that just goes up. It doesn't exist. Okay? So ask yourself, prepare yourself mentally. If I own something like this, what am I going to do when it retraces? Am I going to go to this YouTube channel and type nasty comments? Or am I going to realize that, hey, he told me that these things are volatile. 